It takes not only months but years for a monetary policy to take its impact on the real economy and what we have seen so far is not a complete uh, story yet. So take a look at this chart with me. What it shows you that the amount of outstanding mortgages in the Canadian housing sector, only 30% of them have seen their monthly payment impacted as a result of the most aggressive rate hikes by the Bank of Canada since last year. The vast majority of the outstanding mortgages are still on fixed mortgage term and those type of mortgages have not seen any impact on their monthly payments or the amortization term because they have locked rate in the policy. And when those mortgages come for renewal, this is when they will see a sticker shock and their monthly payments will go up or their amortization has to be adjusted in order to meet the minimum payment obligations. And that shows that the monetary policy is going to take between two to four years before fully uh, before the economy fully absorb the impact of the rate hikes. And this is the lag effect that people often tend to ignore when they, uh, you know, bet against the Bank of Canada's rate pause decision. Uh, we saw that Scotia Bank came out very strongly uh, betting that the Bank of Canada is going to raise 25 bips in their next meeting uh, on June 7th because the inflation seems to be sticky. We saw CPI reading came up higher than expected uh, last week, 4.4%. Uh, that shows the ins inflation is sticking around and ironically one of the you know the CPI basket is is um, housing or shelter and it's one of the component of shelter cost is mortgage cost that has gone up 28 percent year over year just because of uh, the aggressive rate hikes so the rate hikes process is um, indirectly you know increasing the CPI ironically um, so those are the things that I'm looking at right now and I think the inflation is going to be sticky to be honest because Bank of Canada cannot control uh, the food inflation or they cannot control um, the the oil industry like one of the reason why the gas prices has gone up is because of the uh, carbon tax and that is also one of the factor in the higher CPI rating so there are certain things that are contradictory uh, because of the policies that Bank of Canada is, is pursuing or federal government is pursuing. Uh, so that is going to keep the inflation pressure up. Uh, but it's it, it's going to be interesting to see how Bank of Canada will continue keeping the rate paused in the next meeting because the housing sector is still, uh, you know, kind of rebounding in terms of price acceleration. We have seen, uh, I think, up to like 17% uh, price increased according to Korea. And the, one of the main reasons is we don't have enough inventory. The the new listings are, are all time low um, since 2005 or something. And this is where the pressure is being built up because we always have genuine buyers in the market and they are willing to buy for their own primary residence. But if you don't have enough options, then people will tend to bid against each other and that will uh, push the prices up, which is exactly what's happening. So. Whether this will continue or not, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, because one thing I know that the inventory takes time to build up. If the inventory is not going to build up in the next two months, then we are continue going to see the tightness in the market uh, throughout this summer. Uh, oftentimes, you know, in the at the end of the summer, market cools down. But we'll have to see you know how this will play out. Because if the inventory doesn't come up, then the market will stay competitive, uh, in in my opinion. But uh, Time will tell, and uh, this is exactly uh, what I'm observing right now and wanted to share with you. If you are in a buying process or selling process, keep an eye on these news items and, and these commentaries because that will help you to uh, make an educated decision about your home purchase or sell. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in my uh, next week video. Thank you.